Let's start the lesson on reading skills, being an active reader. In this lesson, we'll start from why we need to be active when reading. Then, we'll move on to what an active reader is like and how to become one. So, why do we need to be an active reader? An active reader engages with a reading text. By doing so, it will be easier for us to comprehend the content. What is an active reader? An active reader is someone who fully engages, makes connections, and asks questions with the text. So, how to be an active reader? Before we read, look at the title, headings, and photos. Use them to think about what you already know about the topic. Circle any unfamiliar vocabulary. When we are reading the text, we begin with identifying what each paragraph says and what it does. Then, we connect ideas in the text. Notice words like however, importantly, and finally. Also, we can write down any questions you have about the text in the margin. After we finished our reading, we can make word webs, outlines, or charts to help you understand ideas visually. We can also summarize the text in one or two sentences. Create exam questions about the text for ourselves can also test our understanding. Finally, Interact with others is also a requirement for active readers. Okay, let's practice how much we've learned about an active reader. Let's look at this article. Use the tips above as you read this text. Let's practice with the first paragraph. Look at the title, and we know it's going to talk about living and volcano. Let's practice the first paragraph. Circle the unfamiliar vocabulary and write the definition in the margin. Okay, let's go with a more challenging task, a quiz. Which of the following is not seen on an active reader? You got it? The answer is C. They don't often read aloud the text. Now, let's try to find the tips for being an active reader. You got it? Yes! Almost every tips are important for active readers except number 2. Now, let's have a quick review of today's lesson. An active reader is someone who fully engages, makes connections, and asks questions with the text. And finally, if you are trying to be active, these tips are going to help you. Good job! That's the end of lesson for today. Thank you for joining us on how to be an active reader.